Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from spirit reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. This will be for December 2022. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. So let's see what we have for Virgo. So first card is turned over. We have let go. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher goodness and guidance of spirit as we have only our best intentions at heart and will do everything in our power to protect you. Okay, I'm going to pull a card from the Archangel Michael deck, Virgo. Okay, message for Virgo, please, Angel Spirits Guides, for December 2022. What is the message from Spirit for Virgo, please, for December 2022? Thank you. I'm just going to shuffle one more time. Message from Spirit for Virgo. Thank you. We have number 17. It's time to play. You're working too hard and worrying about everything. Seek out joyous experiences to bring balance into your life. Okay, Virgo, I'm going to pull you a destiny card and see what we have for you. So message for our lovely Virgos, thank you. Message for Virgo, Angel Spirits Guides for December 2022, your card has fallen out so let's go with it we have stand still and I'm going to pull you your spirit animal message for the month of December so what do we have please for Virgo I think I've got two cards there so we have emu this is a good time to go on a new adventure. And we also have Shark. Trust your instincts to discern the truth of the situation. Okay, Virgo, I'm going to pull some cards and see what we have for you. Message for Virgo, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely but Virgos, please. What do we have for Virgo, please? Message from Spirit for December 2022. We have the Empress. The Ace of Wands, the Seven of Wands, bottom of the deck we have the Two of Swords, so Virgo, I want to kind of talk about this first because the Two of Swords can be, we know a decision needs to be made, but it's it's a situation that's hard to look at. But intuitively, we know deep down which way to go, even though our mind might be, you know, unclear with that blindfold. We feel, we feel like intuitively how we want to move forward in a situation. It's something that's difficult to look at, but it can be linked with choices, the Two of Swords. With the Seven of Wands, it's about standing your ground, standing your ground. Uh, and it, this can be a defensive energy. I'm not backing down this time. I'm standing my ground. I'm standing firm. And I'm going to move in this direction because I know it's the right thing for me. This just feels like... It feels like you're taking a stance. This is that, and again, this feeling of standstill as well. But it feels like you're taking a stance or a stance on a situation here. Some kind of, um, so 
some kind of stance. What do we have for Virgo? Clarify the Two of Swords. What is difficult to look at here for Virgo? The Five of Cups. Someone regretting their actions and hoping that there's hope that they can still make amends. Six of Pentacles, sometimes called the breadcrumb card. Six of Pentacles can be somebody offering you a bit more, offering to do a bit more. Uh, this is a card of giving and receiving. But I, I feel in this energy here, Virgo, you're taking a stance this time. This is somebody who's not just rolling over. Clarify the Empress and the Ace of Wands. Thank you. The Queen of Swords, somebody who's not afraid to make decisions. This is where you do look at that sword. You do look at the truth of the situation for what it is. And someone's not afraid to make choices and decisions for the betterment of them. This is how do I bring balance back? Do I cut cords with a situation or a person and move in a different direction? Because the Empress is where you where you feel lack is where you feel where you don't feel lack, where you feel abundant, where you feel that bountiful energy, which is indicating that right now you don't. Somebody's offering more now. Uh, because they regret their actions and they're wanting to smooth things over here. But there's a feeling here of you're not sure. This time you're standing your ground. It looks here, Virgo, like you're making a decision whether to move in a different direction. And it's interesting, we do have that new adventure. The... Ace of Wands and the Empress are very good in terms of self-love, self-worth, self-value. Very good in terms of the law of attraction as well, in terms of what we put out to the universe is what we get back. So there's a great energy here of embracing new beginnings here for you on your own, in your own self-worth, in your own abundance. It can represent things like uh, self-love, moving in a new direction for yourself. This can also represent here, Virgo, jobs, business opportunities, career paths, if this was a money issue. So this could well be, you know, somebody wanting to smooth things over on the career front. But again, just that kind of token gesture, but not necessarily really meaning anything. Uh, it could even be monetarily, just to keep you happy. Uh, but it, it looks here that you're choosing to move, or you have the opportunity to move in a new direction. That could either be a work thing or in terms of making choices in love, romance, relationships is what I'm getting. And again, the Queen of Swords could also be, it could be your energy or somebody who's advising you. The Empress is the birth of something new. She represents new beginnings, uh, but much more than that, she is the creation of something new. Very good in terms of pregnancy, very good in terms of... Um, new love and romance, but also self-love as well. Uh, also very good on the money front. She rules all those areas. Similarly, with the Ace of Wands, this can be about moving where your heart and soul is leading you, where you see potential, where your passion is leading you, where your, where your desire is leading you, how you're going to take action through a new door. This is where you see potential and growth and success. That can either be in terms of self-love, even sometimes new love, but it can also be in terms of jobs, business opportunities, career paths too. I feel that there is there is a feeling here, Virgo, you want to, it looks like lighten the load in some way with this kind of time to play. You just want that breath of fresh air. With this let go energy, I feel this standstill is, things aren't moving forward anymore because you're taking a stance and you're discerning this situation here, this shark energy is this discernment energy of seeing the truth of a situation and making choices and decisions. With that new adventure, it looks like there's the potential of a new beginning for you or a new direction for you. And again, it's up to you whether you choose to start something over in this relationship, stay where you are in terms of money, career, finances, 
or move in a different direction. And that's the choice that's open to you. Okay. Let's pull you a number. What do we have for Virgo, please? Message for Virgo. We have 1222. Two, two. This is a sign to take a step outside of your comfort zone. What feels comfortable to you now may not be the best for you later. Have confidence in the new direction you are taking as it will lead to higher rewards than you ever could have imagined. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to pull you another angel message. So what do we have for Virgo, please? Message from Spirit for Virgo. Thank you. Look at the clouds to see the answer you seek from your angels. Okay, Virgo, I'm going to pull you a final message from heaven. And again, whatever heaven means to you. I just like these cards. Those are, that's your message for the month of December. So let's see what we have for you. Message for our lovely Virgos, please. We have birds are messengers we use to connect with you. Number six. I did look at the bottom of the deck, so I'm going to say it because I always do when I look. We have... Trust, love, and appreciate yourself. Show respect for you. Number 16, yeah. I think that's key with this, this reading. Okay, that's what I have for you, Virgo, for the month of December. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share, and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful December. And for those that celebrate it, a wonderful Christmas. And I will see you next time.